Okay. Uh, the cat or it's the mushroom for the hookah smoking caterpillar, Mad Hatter uh, uh, parade float, and it's a good moment right now. Uh, I have the, uh, the 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 mushroom cap done almost. I'm just putting the last bit of my uh, my pencil rod on there that we can put our fabric and foam on, and I have my saddles that locates it on the stem. Where uh, I already have the the mobility scooter at home. We're going to take it home and start wrapping a, uh, uh, an expanded metal mesh across it, and then we're going to contact cement foam over the whole thing, wrap fabric and paint it. And it's really, this is a, a good spot to be at right now. I have maybe six more welds to do, and the welding is done. Uh, so yeah, life is good. It's really fun. So we can put it in our bathroom. <laughs> well, let me see what we got over here. How do you uh, find out that uh, you, you can bring something strange to this place? Uh, there was a couple weeks ago I saw you up there downtown at the art studio and saw you out there with your uh, actually the old iron horse right there and was really interested and got to talking to you. Oh, yes, I remember. Uh, um, so, uh, park, so parking meters, is that a normal thing that you would you would have, or are you interested in the in this like, ecliptic, uh, design, uh, the, our, our ecliptic motif? I'm interested in everything. Sounds good. Just I love the stuff and just so interested. Thought I'd come down and check it out. Now I recall that you actually showed me some of your work. Did you? Did you not? Oh, the steampunk bracelet. Yes, yes. So you actually, so you're trying to deny it. I see you're trying to deny that you're a steampunker. <laughs> well, my name is Shannon. I'm a steampunker. Um, so anyway, what we're what we got today is, uh, yeah, you want to see if we can put together a a base for your uh, for the parking meter. Okay, well, we're going to go take a look and see what we've got. Sounds good. Well, this is a uh, classic example of obtainium. Uh, this I see is a, uh, uh, a heat lamp unit, uh, which I wouldn't advise using. This is like, these are actually heating coils and a heat lamp all running through a fabric-covered cord. Luckily, this does not work, so we have not uh, we have not set up uh, have not caused a fire as a result of using this. Now, the, the uh, your parking meter is like is a art is a deco or 1950 style parking meter, and our style is normally Victorian and highly decorative with brass. So this is this base here, which is completely unlike anything else we normally have, is much more in the same style as this. So I think this will work really well. What do you think of that? I think it's going to work great. I just love the style of it. It's it's going to work great. It's going to look good. So what I, what we're going to do um, is I'm going to have uh, Andrew here, our highly skilled uh, engineer, is going to cut. It's going to take a uh, cutoff saw. Uh, right angle grinder, which is one of my one of my favorite tools. <laughs> Cut this off right here, right on my finger. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, actually, what I want to do is actually we're going to drop it, drop it down, and then cut it off, and then we're going to nestle it into here. Then we're going to figure out a way of setting this. All right, so we want to drill like a drill a hole and have a hole for the set screw. Yes. All right. Something, uh, in, or worse comes where drilled all the way through and put a through bolt. Put a through bolt in. All right. If especially if this metal doesn't want to be tapped. Okay. Which could possibly be. You have to work. Um, and then probably might want to have to. Sh yeah. uh, once we have a cut, then we'll know whether or not we have to shim this because this is a tapered hole. Oh. Okay. And this is a straight shaft, so that. So it's going to drop in only so far. We have to decide whether or not we want to actually 
cut this and make a taper out of it mm -hmm. or just simply run up um, some tin or copper around it to create a ship. All right. So we're going to do that. Well, I'm going to, when he does that, then I want you, you're, you're part of this, you're going to clean this off with some steel wool, and then I want you to repaint it with the, the you have some silver paint? I brought silver paint. Oh, what a, <laughs> what a coincidence. What a quickie dink. Uh, but I'm also going to give you some blue tape because I want you to cover up this and that. Well, actually, this one should uh, come free. But uh, uh, cover that up so that the uh, you don't paint that nice chrome bit right there. Okay, well, I'll leave you guys to it. All right. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. 